So you would like to know what andamento in mosaics is. Well, you're in the right place. I'm Helen Miles, and I'm here to teach you all the tips and tricks you need to make mosaics. Andamento. Andamento is the directional flow within a mosaic produced by the placement of rows or groups of tesserae to define a form or express an idea. Let's start off by looking at this fish. Here the andamento is defining the form of the fish, so it follows the shape of the fish. I've drawn in some yellow lines here to show what I mean. This is the same mosaic, the same fish, the same design, um, made recently. And as you can see, the andamento works with the form of the fish. So the lines are following the body of the fish here, following the gill here, the mouth, the eye, and the area around the eye, and the fins. And then, of course, we've got the andamento, which goes around the background of the mosaic, of the main design. And this is, is really a whole different subject, so I'll deal with that in another video. You can see exactly the same principle in this ancient mosaic of, of a hen, Look at how the lines follow the breast and then change direction on the wings and the tail. If we go back to our fish and look at, to see what happens if we run the andamento against the form of the fish, you can see that it simply doesn't work. The principle of using andamento, the rows of tesserae, to describe the form applies to all subject matter, including faces. Um, however, it's not just that the andamento defines the individual parts of the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, etc. But they also indicate the muscul musculature beneath the skin and therefore the expressiveness of the face. Here is a lovely little uh, example of a Byzantine mosaic which has no andamento at all. And you can see that without andamento, you essentially don't have a realistic face. Andamento is used both for small subjects and on a larger scale. Here you can see in this koi pond created by Gary Drossel, the andamento is used to create the sense of the ripples and the reflections in the water. Going back to andamento on a small scale, I produced a series of six little diagrams of a pomegranate to show how the andamento can be used. There are various alternatives, and in fact, these um, six alternatives are not definitive. There are other ways of laying the andamento as well. So the point of the diagrams is to illustrate there are different options, and none of them is more correct than the other. There's simply different alternatives to defining the form of the pomegranate. Some might be more appropriate to contemporary work and others to more classical work, but the choice essentially is yours. Now we're going to briefly look at andamento in contemporary mosaics. So this is a very small sample for a, a much larger mosaic, and it's a wedding mosaic. So it's about um, two people, obviously, getting married. Um, and the, the, there's two directions. We've got the, the vertical and the horizontal. And it's about the couple being two distinct beings, obviously. I mean, when you get married, you don't merge into one. Um, but they intersect and a lot of the materials are the same in the lines going in the different directions. And of course, they cross over and meet and join. So that's, that's the concept and, and that's how um, andamento can be used to express a concept. This is another contemporary mosaic which uses andamento to express an idea. So it's a mosaic made as a memorial to um, someone who died and the, so it's a mosaic about life and it starts with this strong foundation. In fact, the pieces for the, the bottom of the mosaic were collected from a particular place where the person was born and grew up. And then, it, and then it's about the flow of life, the movement of life and how it's not linear and how it breaks up into unexpected 
pieces and, and then dissipates. So that's a very, very loose idea of what's going on here. So I hope you can see what I mean about how the andamento, the direction, the flow and the use of tesserae can express an idea. Julie Sperling's works are brilliant examples of how andamento can be used to express ideas. This mosaic is called Flip the System and is about positive feedback loops and how climate action can build to reach a critical mass. I'll leave you with this lovely little ancient mosaic of an orange which clearly shows the andamento. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe below.